Hello and welcome to Learn to Play the Easy Way. These piano lessons are designed for complete beginners. I'll try to keep them short and concise, but with enough information to help you develop a sound technique. Remember, the magic formula to becoming a good pianist is practice. So make sure you practice every day. If you haven't got the time, make time and you will reap the rewards of all your hard work and will progress much more quickly. The idea of these lessons is to watch, listen and play, and also play along with some of the exercises. Remember, when you are learning via video lessons, you always have your teacher ready to help. So if you run into trouble or difficulty or you can't remember, return to the video and watch, listen and then play. Before we get started, let's talk about hand position. Firstly, relax your whole arm and keeping your wrists straight. Place your fingers on the keys. Curve your fingers so your fingertips are touching the keys. Don't be tempted to play with straight fingers. Playing with the tips of your fingers gives you more control and more power for the more, de more demanding pieces. In this lesson, we're going to do some exercises to develop finger independence. And then at the end of the lesson, we're going to play some blues music. It is important very important to nail these exercises. Spend as much time on these exercises as you can because these will develop your finger independence and if you want to make quick progress that's what it's all about. Finger independence. So don't skip these exercises. They are very, very important. Before we start, let's take a look at the keyboard. As you can see, the black keys are in groups of twos and threes. This makes it easy to identify the names of the white keys. The white key to the immediate left of the two black keys is always a C. The white key to the immediate left of the three black keys is always an F. G is the next white note up from F. Now you know all the C's, F's and G's on the piano. We really are learning something already. Your fingers are numbered, beginning with your thumb, from 1 to 5. So your thumbs are number 1. And your little fingers, are, or pinkies, are number 5. So, starting with your left hand, Place your little finger, number 5, on the C. And place your other fingers on the corresponding keys. Starting slowly, play each key in sequence. Keep repeating all these exercises over and over. Once you are confident, you can try with your eyes closed. Now do the same with your right hand. Place your right thumb on C and do the same exercise. Think one, two, three, four, five. Thinking of the notes as numerical degrees of a scale will help you in the more advanced stages when you want to play a tune in different keys. This time we are going to skip a note and just play the first, third and fifth notes. Starting with your left hand, keep repeating this exercise until it feels easier, then move to the right hand. Repetition is the key with all these exercises. Keep repeating them, paying attention to the sound you are making. Let's play these same three notes, but this time we're going to play them together. This will be our first chord. C, 
E and G. Now the chord of F major. Now the chord of G major. And back again to C major. Okay, now that we've done some exercises and our fingers have loosened up, we're going to attempt to play some blues. This is based on the chords C, F and G, the chords which we already played. So we're going to play those chords in our right hand, and in the left hand, we're going to play um, just two notes at a time, which will be C and G and C and A for the C chord. the F chord, F and C and F and D. And for the G chord, G and D and G and E. So you just um, watch and then copy. Repetition is the key with all these exercises. Keep repeating them, paying special attention to the sound you are making. And ask yourself, does it sound exactly the same every time I play it? We're aiming for consistency and control. Now. Okay, once you've got that, you can try it again with a little bit more speed. Well, that brings us to the end of our first lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you press the bell, you'll be notified next time I upload a lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, be sure to subscribe and learn those exercises thoroughly because we're going to be playing them together in the next lesson. Until next time, enjoy your practice.